Hey everyone, I'm Udish Vastav, aka UD. Because no one my country also calls me Udish. Yeah. Anyway, so I've been in YouTube for eight years now, almost eight years now. But to be fair, I was inactive for quite some time, uh, for two years straight because of my studies and everything. But uh, from this year onwards, I'm doing homeschooling, which is uh, yeah, which is great. I'm going to do full time filmmaking, which and this video is all about that only. Last time I did this fourth wall breaking thing, it was in sixth grade, back in 2018. It's still on YouTube. Just don't watch it. It's full of cringe stuff, and I don't know why it's still on YouTube. It does bring back a lot of memories, though. Uh, anyway, so yeah. So I'm making this video to record myself, or you can call it documenting, because I'm documenting my journey from here onwards. Uh, I, I know it sounds cheesy, but uh, I'm just trying to give it a shot. Just being strange, uh, which I have since my journey started when I was six years old. After watching Mark Webb's Amazing Spider-Man 2, I was just fascinated by all the visuals. And I started watching behind the scenes of the film. Eventually, I started watching behind the scenes of oh, every fi film I watched at that time. And I guess that's how I just fell in love with the process of filmmaking. But first, I wanted to be an actor. Of course, I wanted to play Spider-Man. I'm, I'm a big Spider-Man enthusiast, as you can see here. But yeah, um, in 2017, I got a role in a, a feature film. Unfortunately, it never released. But but when I, when I was there, I just looked at the lights, the camera, the sets, and the chroma work, especially. And I was just like, ah, oh, tight, 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 yeah. Ah, oh, blue, yellow, pink, whatever, man. Just keep bringing me that. Sorry for doing that. <laughs> I'm sorry for doing that. Anyway, let, let us resume. Um, and on returning, I found myself researching about VFX and Chroma work on YouTube and trying to just learn things from YouTube. And uh, one year later, I got into Mac. But getting into Mac wasn't that easy because to get into Mac, I needed a high school degree. And at that point, I was in sixth grade. So, um, but, but on talking, they just agreed to take an interview of mine. And uh, after interviewing, they just they were just like, oh, that didn't happen. <laughs> They were just kind and thoughtful enough to realize my passion about filmmaking and till date I'm the youngest to complete that course. But while I was at Mac, I just felt like something is strange about it. Again, being strange. I do need to find a, another word for being strange. Never mind. Uh, after two years, I wrote my debut short film and shot on a budget of $100 and it was selected in various film festivals around the globe. At that point, I, was, I wasn't expecting it to be selected in any film festivals, but did. And because of that, I was titled as India's Youngest Writer, Director, Cinematographer of a Short Film by India Book of Record. And this year, I was titled as World's Youngest Writer, Director, Cinematographer of Harvard from uh, Harvard World Record. Um, yeah, that's... that's Two years were completely dead, especially for my YouTube channel, uh, because of studies and everything. But from this year onwards, I'm doing homeschooling. And I'm going to totally focusing on filmmaking and uh, college. Of course, film colleges. Frankly speaking, film colleges are uh, not cheap. Like thousands of dollars to attend film school, that's, that's a lot. But that is the only way I have to get into industry and to learn things and to network. Of course, I've been needing scholarship. And that is the reason why I need to improve myself. So I'm deciding on making short films every three weeks. And... Um, and document my journey as I'm trying to put my own unique voice to it. Hmm. Unique feels right. 